Yeah, Splat Nation, guess who's back? It is I, the general of the Splat Nation Army, your boy, the real M14, and we are back with more Bayonetta. Now, I'm sorry for the, the long uh, layoff between videos. Uh, November was a very hectic month for me, you know, in between my hectic work schedule, Thanksgiving, my birthday, you know, there was a lot of things going on, a lot of things, but... You know what I mean? We're going to get back into Bayonetta this December, you know what I mean? So, look forward to more videos. But yeah, man, uh, this is actually going to be uploaded tomorrow. So, you know, since I have a day off tomorrow, I'm going to get it up. Uh, let's go ahead and load our file. Hope everybody out there had a good November. All right, so we're going to go down to the 14, which is our file. Vigrid, the city of Deja Vu. That is our next destination. Shall we proceed? Alright, let's get started. She acted Fancy a damn fool. You here. Out to find some answers about your past, are we? You've quite the familiar face. And using the same powers. But you'll have to forgive me. Do we know each other? <laughs> same powers? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your little dip in that lake has left you a bit rusty. Oh. I've been high and dry for 20 years now. The only rust on me is from the lack of any real challenge. Ooh. Perhaps you're up for the task. Mm -hmm. You've already disappointed me. Damn. <laughs> This is a moment I've long desired. But you've forgotten your destiny and wasted the past twenty years. You're right. I do seem to be having trouble remembering things of late. Would you be so kind as to take it from the top? Two overseers. The eyes of the world. They are the power behind everything. John, as heir to the clan, the time has come for you to prove your right to fight. Under the Umbran name. Well, we know you her name now. Opponents of your choice. Then allow me to face the outcast. Nun! Helen Kiadagat! The child is of impure blood. Challenging her would be a violation of our tenets of faith. It would not be the first time we faced each other. Kiad? Will you face me in this hallowed arena? Well, if I must. But I pray you've got a little something for me in return. You know, I'm very fond of stuffed animals. <laughs> She's such a big baby. Hmm. 
Okay, Sean, let's get it on. Okay, so... When the moon shines bright in the sky, face a wall and press X to witch walk. So all you gotta do is, uh, just... Jump on the wall and you can walk on it now. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I really do not like fighting Jean. And uh, mostly all she's gonna do is run. Up! Uh huh. Okay, where is she? She ran again? Okay, she's over here now. Ah! Yeah, there we go, there we go. Now we're doing damage. Oh! Come on. Stop running from me. She ran again. Yo, all you do is run, John. Nice try. Oh, crap. Ah! This is why I hate fighting her. And humanoid characters in this game in general, like, they're the toughest fights. It's hard to counter. And then you can't really get, like, full combos off. How the hell did she get over there? Oh, she's almost dead. Okay. I had a feeling that she was gonna deflect that somehow. How much health does she have left? She's deflecting everything. Come on, just die! You know you about to lose! There we go. Damn, man, why you gotta make it so difficult for us, John? That's what happened in the past. And now, I remembered a new ability. The moon is out, meaning we can now walk on the walls. Yep, that's her name, Jean. Uh, so now we have the ability to witch walk. All you gotta do is just get on the wall. See? Simple. Okay. Check this. Oh, look. We found another broken witch heart. If we keep getting these, we're gonna have even more vitality, which is good. Oh, look. See? We collected four. Alright. Our vitality is going up. I kind of don't like that you can't heal after like a fight that you had in the flashback, but that's okay. Uh oh. Angels! So, we have a new type of angel. This one is called Deer's. I think, what is it? Deer and Decorations. Alright, uh, these ones are more difficult in the pack, but honestly, what's really effective is using bullet arts. Bullet arts can make this very easy. Mm -hmm. Get you right in your face. What? Things are annoying. All right. Let's check some of these statues. Okay, let me get these halos. Anything in there? No? Hmm. Did I break all the statues over here? Oh, apparently I did. Alright. 
And just like that, the moon is no longer out. So we've just lost the ability to witch walk. <laughs> Gotta get back on the ground. Open these doors. First thing you'll notice, you see that red crow? There is an imposter among us. Gotcha. Umbran Tears of Blood. You wanna grab this book? A unknown metal wall. Okay, I don't think there's anything else over here. Okay, we need to go back. Right here. We're gonna, you know, do what we did in the other video, you know, talk to the statues. So we can activate the ability. Okay, we're gonna activate it right here. Use that to destroy this wall. Boom! Alright, we in there. Okay, let me destroy some of these flower pots. You know, some of them have halos. Hmm, a white cat. Hmm. Alright, cool. First thing you want to do, you want to head down here. You want to go over here, break open the coffin. We got a bullet for Angel's attack. Okay, we got another book. Destroy these benches. What is that up there on the ceiling? Another broken witch heart. These things are hidden throughout every level. You just gotta know where to look. Thankfully, I do. Okay. More halos. Those are always useful. Alright. Cutscene. We're about to be introduced to one of the dopest characters in the game. Us here together, and it will never tear us apart. For you anime lovers out there, yes, that is Sasuke from Naruto. Such a wonderful floral bouquet. With its subtle hints of rosemary. You know, in the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. <laughs> Which doesn't quite equate to you, now does it? Bayonetta! Luca. A name you'd better remember. Uh! <laughs> Shit! Damn it! Wait! You can't just run away from me like that! 
I know what I saw that day. Flashback. Come on, boy, young Luca. Lucas pops. I know all about your kind. Sure, my colleagues laugh at me for chasing fairy tales, amongst other things. But I know they're real. I know the truth. The same smell that clung to the air the day my father was murdered. Which means I'm right on your doorstep, Bayonetta. I'll let you in Not on quite. the secret, Cheshire. The name is Luke. You need to hone your sense of smell, my dear. There's no rosemary in the perfume. After all, rosemary is a demon repellent. Let's get it on. Oh, very aggressive off the bat. I like that. I just got a trophy called Wicked, Wicked Weave Master. Ah, yeah, I'm the master of the Wicked Weave moves. I'd be a little faster than that to hit me. Oh. Whoa. Almost had me there. I love this move. It's cheesy, but very effective. Goodbye. Oh, we got a big boy. Hey, get hung, baby. Oh. Oh, oh, right on the back. Oh, he's running away! Ugh, you're not gonna be able to save your friends, though. Alright, let's clean up. Mm. Halos everywhere. You only run away so fast because you've got something to run from. Me! But you can't escape me forever! My man is out of there. Mm, I ain't even get touched. Anyway, let's grab a couple of things. You know, we're gonna grab this mace. You know what I mean? Never know when a, a mace like this one could come in handy, you feel me? throw this car. I could have thrown, like, cars during a fight, but I didn't really see the need for it, you know? Anything in here? No? Nothing? Alright. Let's proceed on. Why are you running, man? Don't be scared. Let's see. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Well, we got a little bit of trouble. Oh! 
And here we go, new angels. This angel is called Enchant. And these things are fast and annoying. Okay, just got hit by one of them. I guess this mace isn't really the best weapon for this type of fight. Ah! There we go. I'm over here getting hit. Mm. Done. Could have got a pure plat, but that's alright, you know. It is what it is. You take the bitter with the sweet. Okay, one thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go up here. Because there's a little secret up here. Ooh, ooh there we go. A little bit of health. But yeah, man, it's an off what do, you, what do you call it? The offheim room. So we're gonna we're gonna go inside this one. I remember the mission here wasn't too tough. Okay, all we gotta do is defeat all enemies before time runs out, and we can't get hit three times. So Okay. Use the bullet arts on this. Ugh. Oh. Back up, man. Get home. Whoa. Cheese him. Yeah, I'm gonna need this. Okay, let's continue the cheese. I mean, you see how easy it makes these enemies? Okay. Off with his head! Ugh! Gotta watch my surroundings, because there's a lot of them. Hmm, if I can get this weapon from him. Oh, crap! Okay, there we go. This fight should be over. Oh, we got a big boy. That was gonna touch me? Get out of here. Alright, and just like that, that's settled. And our reward? Another broken witch heart. Oh, we got platinum. We got touched at the end one time. Yes, sir. Alright, let's keep it pushing. Head back down here. Okay. Oh, actually, the first thing we should do is actually we should head over here. You know, what I mean, we got another one of these coffins that we need to open. Okay, we got some fusing materials from it. Not, you know, not bad. Okay, another book. Grab that. Ah, some health. 
That's good. You know, that's always needed. Alright, we're gonna head over to this side, right? We're avoiding the middle, because if you go in the middle, you're gonna trigger a cutscene in a battle. So yeah, we're gonna go over here, break another one of these coffins, and we got more fusing materials. Was there anything up here? No? Okay. Alright, since we got everything, we can go ahead and continue on. Oh, these things. Bullet arts. Use the bullet arts on them. Watch out for the ones on the wall. Okay. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay, let's get it on, my friend. Boom, right in the back. Oh, he's big mad. He's big mad. Bruh, you had to call you can you had to call your your bigger bro. You had to call your bigger bro. Come on, man. You can't handle your business by yourself. You gotta call your brother. Oh. I didn't look at it as more opportunities to go into witch time. Nope. Okay. Now it's one on one. Nope. Boom! Right in the back! Yeah, this man is not gonna last much longer. Alright, let's bring this to a closure. You know you done messed up, right? Get him, Gamora! Look at that, we got another one of those LPs to give the road on. Mm. Grab these halos. So, bunch of halos. Oh, more halos over here. Okay, yeah, let me get that please, thank you. Okay, look man, we can grab this. Pick it up. Bring it with us. Grab this LP. Mm -hmm. Should come in very handy. Once again, another one of these books. We don't really need it though. I mean, we, we need them, but I'm not going to read them. No, sir. Alright, let's go visit the homie Rodan in the Gates of Hell and give him this LP. Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Let me go whip some things into shape for you. to pound into shape but the workmanship solid now go put this thing to good use Sharaba my favorite weapon in this game but I'm gonna try to avoid using it because I want to like do everything with the default weapons the Scarborough fairs but there's gonna be a couple of times I already know against maybe certain enemies that I'm probably gonna just have to switch to Sharub uh Sharaba I don't know, I've been calling it Sharuba all this time, but it's Sharaba. But yeah, man, I love that sword, man. It's amazing. Alright, let's see what we can buy. How much money we got. We ain't got as much money as I thought we did, but it's alright. Let's see what we got here. Uh, 
Can't afford any of these, unfortunately. That's alright. What can we afford? Can't buy this. Mm. Could buy some witch hearts and some moon pearls. Actually, wait. Let's go to techniques. Ah, uh, yeah. We could get some techniques. I want witch twist. Which, I think... Let me see. Try it. Oh, yeah, this is... This is basically what starts air combos. You just gotta catch him with it. Oh, no, it's not working on this guy. Supposed to start air combos. I guess it's not working on that dude. Let me try it one more time. There we go. There we go. That's more I like it. Yes. I'll take it. I like that you get to try it before you buy it. These other moves, I don't really care too much. What about Heal Storm? What, what does that do again? <clears throat> Not gonna lie, the Heal Stomp is kind of grimy. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't really care about these other. Um, wait, I don't have Heal Slide. Wait, what does Heal Slide do again? Can we execute holding and pressing? Can we try this? Okay, so holding R1 and pressing. Oh! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can this work as an air combo initiator too? Let me see. Alright, so you gotta hold it. It's alright. I don't feel like I need it though. Anyway, let me stop wasting time and get, um... I'm actually just gonna get... No, not, no, I can't get any of these. Where is it? Items, items. I'm gonna buy a Witch Heart, because why not? These things are always useful. Oh yeah. By the way, that's a complete Witch Heart. That's not a, like a like a broken witch heart that's a like a full heart anyway let's get the hell out of here get the hell out of the gates of hell <laughs> all right back to live action you'll notice my health bar is a little larger than it was before anything over there I don't really need this, but I'll take it. Alright, so what you want to do, you want to head down here. Oh, it looks like somebody wanted some smoke down here. Oh, come on! That stupid move. I got some kind of plat uh, trophy that's called Platinum. Okay. Oh, statue rebuilt, rebuilt itself. Oh, I got a Platinum on it, so that must have something to do with the trophy. Oh, we got a Moon Pearl piece. 
a broken moon pearl. And now, since we got two, it combined to make a a full moon pearl. And now we got uh, we can basically do more specials. You know, more torture attacks, which is always useful. Anyway, what you want to do? You want to head up here. Okay. Now, when you jump up, look what's in the tree. Another broken witch heart. Getting a lot of these lately. Alright. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna head up here. We're gonna need to activate the statues so that we can use witch time. And we're gonna activate it right here. All right. Okay, we can cross the bridge now. Made it. Okay, there's one collectible over here. There's uh, there's one of those red crows over here. It's up there. Oh, missed it. But it's all right. If you miss it, you can just wait for it to come back and land again. Okay, come on camera, work with me, work with me camera. Okay, it's back. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Is there anything back there? No, I'm bugging. Anyway, we're gonna go inside the church. Anything in this statue? Yep. Good thing I broke it. Open this door. little friend just a child what are you doing running around Vigrid you're certainly not dressed in your Sunday best okay so you guys can't hear this part because it's censored but she's singing fly me to the moon right here I would have put this on the capture card, but it's only like five seconds long. Like, I didn't really feel like you guys was missing anything. But just in case she was wondering why there was like complete silence in that cutscene, she was singing a copywritten song, so. Makes sense. Oh, looks like we got a little mini boss. This guy. He just won't stop tormenting us. Oh, we dealt with him in the, in the previous level. He's very persistent. Now we gotta fight this dude in a church. Mm -hmm. Okay, my timing was very bad there. Okay, now this thing broke off the church and we're flying in the air now. Watch out for the other head. Okay, now we got two heads to worry about. 
as if we didn't have enough problems. Okay, cutscene time. If we get this wrong, we're dead. Okay, we got it right. One thing I do not like about this game, my only gripe is quick time events like cutscenes where if you get them wrong, you just die. Thankfully, I actually had time to practice this one before I did this playthrough, so. Hmm, platinum. Could have got a pure, but it is what it is. I'll take it. No item was used, and we got gold. <laughs> Bam. Yes, sir. Not bad if I do say so myself. Anyway. Aw, oh, yeah. It's time to shoot him up. Let's do it. Okay, I should be doing a lot better at this game now that I have a better controller, which I got during Black Friday. You know what I mean? My aim is a lot better than what it looked like in the previous videos. Trust me. Yeah, can I get that one in the back? Nah. I'm not even going to try again. At 58, I could be I could be better than that, but I guess I'll take it. I don't want any of this stuff, so I'm just gonna get halos from it. <clears throat> well then, looks like Bayonetta's on fire. Okay, so when we return next week, we'll be exploring the Burning Ground, which is Chapter Three of Bayonetta. So, you know, as usual, you know, if you guys uh, like to comment, I mean, if you guys like the content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, ring that bell for notifications, and comment your thoughts below. This is your boy, The Real M14, signing off. Until next week, Splat Nation, peace!